Can you hear me all okay? Yeah, yeah you're fine, man. Today's topic uh, is Cosmos again. And I guess you all now know what, what Cosmos is. It's uh, basically an uh, internet of blockchains. And I've explained to you guys that it's like a motorway. Uh, there is so many motorways. Uh, some motorways are congested. So Ethereum, for example, is very, very congested to get from A to B. Uh, you can actually use Cosmos, you can use Polkadot, you can use Avalanche, you can use so many other chains. What is uh, massive about Cosmos is interoperability. So there is a protocol called inter-blockchain communication protocol. So all these uh, app chains, as we say, uh, sovereign app chains, and I'm going to come back to that sovereignty part again when I discuss uh, Neutron and Quicksilver. But uh, that interoperability is, is very, very important. So all these chains, um, there are hundreds and hundreds of chains now that can actually talk to each other using the IBC protocol. There is similar uh, protocol, XCM on uh, Polkadot, where all the, so Polkadot is a mothership, you can think about, and it's taking all these uh, other blockchains like Akala, uh, like Moonbeam, uh, so on and so forth. So I am personally very, very heavy into both of them. So my portfolio is 42% Cosmos, and related products and 42% uh, is DOT. I don't care which one wins, but they are kind of similar, but also uh, not uh, exactly similar. But many, many of the basic principles, uh, they are kind of same. So in terms of uh, price action, uh, it is very, very boring. And I'm going to tell you why it is. And again, some of the Cosmos community might not agree with me, but uh, this is what I see. So tokenomics is poor. So Adam 2.0 was rejected because people were fearing about massive dilution. Actually, it's it's still getting in. So Adam 2.0 uh, is still getting implemented in parts. Uh, there are various proposals for, for example, this liquid staking uh, derivatives, which are coming. Uh, again, I'm going to come to that point. It's just way too much dilution. The volume looks very healthy. So that's 50 million uh, volume in 24 hours. Market cap is 3 billion, 3.7 billion. And circulating supply uh, as of now is 346 uh, million and it is increasing quite a lot and the reason is because hub has now decided to implement interchain accounts uh, they want to provide the security and to provide the security they have chosen two chains uh, initially first which is stride and neutron um, stride is obviously uh, i've talked about it stride is is a liquid staking uh, protocol uh, which will actually rent its security from uh, the hub the another one is is Neutron, which is a smart contract uh, platform. Smart contract uh, previously on Cosmos, the leader was Juno, but Juno is down uh, in the gutter at the moment. I don't know what's happening there. What's going on? Will it recover? Will it not recover? I don't know. But I would say Juno was the original smart contract platform on uh, Cosmos. Uh, but now the, there is a new kid on the block. The new kid on the block is Neutron. And Neutron is, is no ordinary protocol because uh, if you have any knowledge about Lido on Ethereum, these are the same guys who are building uh, Neutron. And they are also the darling chain of, of Cosmos, so all the developers are helping them. In fact, uh, there is two main things for any chain uh, important. One is the liquidity, another is security. So Neutron will leverage the security of uh, Atom. So you see the, the market cap there is 3.7 billion, majority of Atom is staked. So basically all that security transfer over uh, to Neutron. In return, uh, the Atom stakers will get um, part of the cut of the income of, of Neutron. The problem is, uh, I think Hub is trying to take a stake in these chains. They want to take a stake. I think it was 450,000 uh, something Atom that they are providing in initial liquidity. Uh, but what I'm concerned is, is that Cosmos is trying to take a stake in these chains. So they're going to take a stake in Neutron. They're going to take a stake in, in, in Stride. And that is kind of choosing your favorite children. Um, and then that's going to cause massive dilution because how would you fund this? The only way you can fund this is by printing Atom. And this will come at a cost for all those guys who have been waiting for improvement in tokenomics. I'm, I'm, I'm still a big believer. I, I, th I still think it will be fixed. But I think this will suppress the price for a very, very long time if this is the approach that the hub will take. Okay. now. Concerns aside, still very bullish uh, long term. Long term, we are that's what we are doing. Not financial advice, of course. I'm just a guy, random guy on YouTube in, in his room. Nothing in this uh, video or in call is financial advice. So, what we did as a, uh, as, a, as, a as a DAO was we participated in, in, in liquidity auction. Uh, we paired uh, Atom and uh, we paired Neutron. 
and then now we have locked our tokens for a year. The only uh, stupid thing here is that more people have locked uh, Neutron and Atom as compared to Neutron and USDC. So basically these guys will get, I think, uh, my understanding is not as awesome as some of the devs, but you can see there is only 18% people who have locked the Neutron USDC and 40%, 41% have locked for Neutron Atom. And we are in this pool, so we will get less rewards as compared to these guys. This is my understanding, I might be wrong. Uh, but also this is kind of bullish because people trust Atom more than USDC, uh, which is again, some different angle uh, on, on this. So this token is launching tomorrow. A quick word on this token. I think uh, all these guys are gonna slowly trickle Neutron, all the airdrop folks who are slowly getting trickled Neutron are gonna sell. So they might be, uh, so the price that we got is I think 18 cents. I don't know, where does it say? All uh, right. I think it's probably internet issues and I don't want to connect any wallet today. So I think it's 18 cents. So we uh, we got around 18 cents. So if it tanks to let's say 10 cents, I think that's a good entry uh, point because most of the team tokens are locked. Uh, most of the rewards are vested. After initial selling is done, I think we will get a really good entry. Okay, so that's Neutron. It's launching tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled. I think the DEX is Astroport. So the thing that is uh, uh, lighting my eyes here is, is this tweet uh, from Stride. You, you see there is only 1.34% of staked uh, atom, uh, which is liquid. So that basically means most of the atom that is staked with, with various validators is actually not liquid. It's locked. And this is the problem in DeFi. How do you uh, increase the liquidity? So liquid stake derivatives are uh, really, really important in terms of providing liquidity. So um, this is a narrative, which I think is gonna come uh, just before next bull run. Um, I might be wrong, but we, we are positioning uh, ourselves as, as um, uh, a DAO, which will uh, benefit from this liquid stake derivatives narrative. No one is talking, I think Alio mentioned, Alio Trades, one of the biggest YouTubers uh, recently mentioned uh, about um, that liquid staking derivatives might be really, really uh, important narrative coming. So I think with, with next bull run, uh, the the stride is, is positioning. A, it is uh, a favorite child of Cosmos Hub because it's the second chain uh, that is coming to the hub. And there is only 1.3% of atom uh, that is staked is liquid. So 99% of that staked atom, there is a, a liquid, I think L... SM, so that's liquid staking module that is coming. So basically we can, we will be able to move our already staked atom into uh, ST atom. So the problem is people don't wanna unstake. So if you know how Cosmos SDK works, so when you unstake, you need to wait 14 to 21 days on various chains. So with this uh, liquid uh, staked module, uh, you will be able to basically liquefy your atom, your FMOS, your uh, Juno, your Osmo, and, and so many other uh, chains. And I think, who's going to benefit? We are getting so many tokens from Stride as ST tokens because we're getting cut off the revenue. Now, 15%, once Stride goes to Atom, 15% of the revenue will go to Atom stakers. Now, we are Atom stakers, so we benefit either way. Uh, Price-wise, uh, it is quite down from where we entered. I think we, uh, and well, I personally entered when I was shouting about this token in the Discord around these levels. So if you paid attention to me, you're actually massively up. But as a DAO, I think we entered around 1.4 something. I don't remember exactly, but I, I really hope it tanks because I wanna add some nice bag. So I was waiting, hopefully it gets below one. It hasn't, it's holding pretty strong. Although the, the volume here, uh, let me see the volume. Uh, it's only $55,000, which is on a lower side. Uh, but also remember this 9.2 million is wrong. I think it's around two to 3 million. I don't know the exact number, but uh, this is self-reported. The maximum supply is, is only 100 million. So fully diluted market cap is 119 million. Again, I think we are very, very early here. Uh, if there is no locks, uh, no, no hacks, sorry, uh, we are getting at a bottom floor uh, here. Now, the reason why I'm so bullish on Stride is because they have something called circuit breaker. So the big massive problem in many, many DeFi protocols is hacking. Uh, people always get hacked. They, you get hacked into wallets. 
So imagine if if the stride chain itself is hacked. Um, so the I, I think there is a really nice circuit breaker uh, in, in in stride where the losses will be minimized. I think there's a limit on how much anyone can withdraw uh, per day. So that's that's uh, uh, one uh, liquid staking protocol. There is another one uh, which is Quicksilver. We are not part of it. The chain I think was halted a few days ago. Sorry, not a few days ago, but but the chain was definitely halted because someone discovered a bug. So again, from all type all time highs, this protocol is down bad. So I think it's 50 cents, around 50 cents was the high uh, for Quicksilver. I think you can get it on, on Osmosis. Uh, again, I'm just providing you options here. I am personally not invested in Quicksilver. There's another one called Persistence, uh, which is coming. Uh, so you can also follow them on, on their uh, Twitter. I'll leave, uh, just, just wait, pause here for a second. Okay, and now Cosmos is full of drama always. And as I said, I'm concerned about the amount of uh, printing of Atom that is being done by the hub, especially to, to get stake into, let's say, Stride, to, let's say, get stake into uh, Neutron. Uh, it is coming at the expense of Atom stakers, Atom holders. Um, and also, these guys, you know, this, is, this guy is the founder of uh, DYDX. They are using uh, Cosmos. And look, the, the, the sovereignty aspect I, I, I mentioned earlier is just like, you're using the Cosmos tech, and then you're saying um, no to Cosmos. Like they don't want to be associated with Cosmos. It's basically you're trying to cheat from an exam, and you don't want to give credit from person uh, who you cheat uh, from. So, and then and then, then he clarified once he get uh, the the so much backlash for this. But this is the problem with Cosmos. Uh, they they need to accrue a lot of value to its holders. And I just can't see the way they are printing. Uh, so we will have a very, very long time to, to DCN. Uh, I, I really hope they change the tokenomics uh, because as more and more people try to understand this, they're gonna, they're gonna call out this. Uh, they're gonna call, because I, I just can't see a, a massive uh, improvement unless uh, tokenomics is improved. Uh, not to say I'm not, uh, like I, I have spent uh, a lot of time uh, researching this chain I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to keep DCAing, but I hope uh, if, if some of the big guys listening to me uh, do do take note of this. Nothing in this video is, is financial advice. You're all adults. Uh, if you ever invest one single dollar into any project, it's on you. You will never ever get rich if you start blaming others. And all the, uh, the teams I'm working with are here. Um, so please pay attention to this. You will never get rich if you blame anyone but you for your investment decisions. I'm gonna end up with this, uh, follow me on Eat Healthy Get Rich because that's where I uh, have always uh, put Alpha out. Uh, you can also join the free Discord. I don't charge anything, so <laughs> the Discord is free. I think only 40 seats are remaining. The Discord will close at 100 uh, um, people. So anyways, so this was actually late 1980s and basically they, this guy here, uh, George uh, Trich, you can search about him. He basically charted, so there was based upon pig and egg <laughs> prices. And then what is the best time ever to buy anything? You see, 2023 is right at the bottom. And this guy predicted like 2000. So again, these times are not bad either. So 2007, um, uh, you, you, the guy actually, even the COVID, uh, they, they, this 2019 was the best time to sell. Okay, so 2023, as per this chart, we are in 2023, folks, is the best time. 2023 is here. Uh, there might be uh, uh, opportunity from 2023 uh, to 20, I would say, let's say 2025, but then 2032 is the next opportunity. So 2023, and then again, this, this, so many events have been absolutely amazingly correctly predicted. The best time to sell was 2019. Yes, that's true. And now the best time to buy is 2023. Next best time to sell will be uh, 2034 to 20. Uh, I can't even see properly here, too much light. Anyways, it's in my uh, uh, Twitter bio. Uh, it, I've been uh, putting this silently so that people can study, but please like, subscribe. Questions, that's us. All right, folks, questions. The only thing I will say is that 
and I've been reading a lot of people have been commenting on that the tokenomics aren't quite there on this yet. Yeah, so Adam 2.0 proposal uh, tried to to improve that, but community pretty quickly discovered that actually it's actually a lot of quick dilution. So uh, I'm I was one of the persons who rejected the proposal. I don't know if my vote counts here, but um, it, it is. Yeah, I, I, I'm really saddened because the devs uh, really good. Uh, but I, I just, the sacrifice of hub is too painful now. Like they, they are sacrificing things to be uh, the best in the world. Yeah. But at the end of the day, uh, many, many people in crypto are just here to make money as well. Uh, we are not here just for tech. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> you're going to make money. Um, so it is painful to see the way that, because this whole decentralization is kind of BS. It's, it's the top validators who have the most vote. So they can actually pass any proposal they want. Uh, so this, uh, as much as many people will get pissed off and then give me abuse on Twitter and uh, YouTube, but the truth of the matter is it is very centralized. Uh, the top validators still hold majority of the voting power. Um, it is getting better. I'm not saying, uh, but again, maybe 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 that's how uh, everything starts and slow and steady uh, decentralization. It is a great chain. It's a great blockchain. As I said, it's a great motorway from A to B. You get very fast. You guys have been uh, seeing how fast these transactions are. Um, yeah, the the block times and it's just amazing. Uh, everything is amazing except for tokenomics. So you see, there is 60 billion of digital assets under uh, management. Uh, yeah, it is uh, pretty good, I would say, overall. But can it compete with uh, Ethereum? Not as we say. Uh, to compete with Ethereum, you might have to invest. So maybe that's what Cosmos uh, Hub is doing. But as an investor, do I have patience to wait for that long? I guess I have, but I would also like to see some uh, care to be given to people who are investing their money into this. You can't just take people's money and then just say, okay, yeah, wait for the next 10 years and then we're gonna give you returns. I think it's gonna come. Uh, the community is, is very vocal. I think the tokenomics will improve. And of course, it's a very green uh, blockchain, like literally one cent fees for transaction, seven seconds. Uh, yeah, that is, it is pretty amazing. Okay, any other? Yeah, what's, so what's the difference between this and DOT then? It seems like they wanna look at this very, Similar in terms so, of the yeah. slight thing is how they security wise and so 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 Dot has the parachain auction uh, model to win and uh, a, a blockchain slot on uh, Dot you have to lock Dot for two years. This is not the case with uh, Cosmos. Cosmos app chains are sovereign, so all you need to do is you, you it's permissionless, so you you lock. Uh, uh, you, you basically copy the code, Cosmos SDK, and you can launch on uh, Cosmos. So there is literally, uh, in terms of uh, barrier to entry, I would say Polkadot has a larger because you need to win the parachain slot auctions. I don't know if you participated when I was doing. I do remember. I, I was, uh, so so we did Moonbeam, we did Akala uh, on, on, on Binance, and it was really good. Um, but uh, because you have locked your dot for two years, you cannot do anything. Again, you see the problem why I'm saying that Lucid staking derivatives will be crazy. So that dot yeah. that has been locked for two years, it's locked for two years. Nothing I can do about yeah. it. Oh. Yeah. Imagine if I had the uh, Lucid staked uh, derivative of that. I, I think I think there are solutions. And again, I'm not um, saying that these solutions don't exist in, in, in Polkadot. They are. And I'm pretty sure if I dig deep, uh, I will find solution to liquefy that uh, locked dot, but I'm just, I, I just think there is so much more uh, exciting things going on in Cosmos and I just don't have time uh, to stay on top of everything. And I'm just one man. So what I'm th thinking in terms of vision, one of them or both of them will be, will win. Yeah. So I think one of them will be the top, top tier uh, crypto come next bull run. Whether it's dot, whether it's 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 uh, atom, uh, I don't care because I'll win anyway. If both win, I win. Yeah. If one win, I win. If both lose, you win. <laughs> I am, I am Do you lose? <laughs> okay.
<laughs> but again, slow and steady, you know. Uh, yeah. Even outside the DAO, I think you guys should definitely look at Neutron because they are the 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 new kid on the block. Smart contract, great team behind them, um, and it will actually help uh, interoperability a lot. Uh, Cosmos Hub is putting a lot of atom in Neutron, so Cosmos Hub, as always, is sacrificing itself, but Neutron will benefit. So uh, I think Neutron is a good pick around ten cents. It has massive number of tokens. So before the team gets it, before uh, other people get it, you need to know what the exit is. I think yeah. I think it will be 50, 60 cents uh, before uh, the next unlocks, major unlocks. So that's a good three, four X uh, opportunity for us. Uh, again, nothing is financial advice, all of this, <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, I, I just think, um, there is not many tokens, even though there is hundred bill. Oh, no, sorry, one billion total supply, but there won't be many tokens uh, because uh, in 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 circulation because people need to lock, people need to uh, uh, provide LP. Um, they raised, I think, around seven million already uh, wow. in terms of just from uh, Atom community and, and and people locking tokens. So seven million guys, like for a new chain on day one Man, with the. So, so people are not stupid, you know, people who are investing seven million and then we invested like 500, no, we, I think it was a thousand maybe, we invested a thousand, yeah? Um, yeah. So, so yeah, we, we can't really uh, compare ourselves to, to them. We are small, small sardines, okay? All right, any, any, anything else? Uh, is it okay, guys, if I keep this conversation in the video? Yeah, it goes. Yeah, okay, uh, because uh, I think it's pretty important discussions. Majority of the CEOs, like I worked in Silicon Valley and I worked in Boston. Um, this is the natural course. Most CEOs, when the protocols are running, they don't keep the job. Stick Once around. big investors come, they, they mess them up because they are e whales and eagles and, and, and they are ruthless. Yeah, the crypto is a funny, uh, funny business, okay? People's memories are so poor and stupid. And... If only they to listen to the talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I am a sardine, so I know the pulse. These guys are rich guys. They, they just think what they do is right, and this is how CEO, CEOs are. They don't have the humbleness to accept that retail money is also important now. Like this whole bullshit about all the uh, money is on ETH is not right. I just don't see how people are with the fees that are so high. So stride, high. stride has thirty-seven million law. Stride is few months old. That's mental. That's so no, no, but 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 that their reasoning is not correct. Uh, we got six more minutes, guys. If if you have any other, can you imagine how much pain I'm in? <laughs> so frustrating. So flipping. Frustrating. No, but also the time. Like honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so if you put that much time into it, oh man. Jeez. I invested two years. I helped them every single medium article. Yeah. Every, I, it went through me. Oh God, yeah. that's the problem. And it sometimes, sometimes, yeah, you put all that work in, and the payoff and the result yeah, just doesn't materialize. It, it is crazy that, that, that this is the way crypto is. You work for free, and <laughs> your token tanks. My my tokens are locked for a year, and if it tanks, why did I spend one year? And and I've been based off that chain, even though I'm like really, really very strong disclaimers. Um, every video I take the paid video, I, I, I don't know the team, and I, they were they they are not happy. Every Twitter space, I say this, and I said I tell them like if if you if you dox, then I will stop saying that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so I need to safeguard myself, you know. So every video, every Twitter space, I say they are not known to me. I have no clue, and I make Good so enough. strong disclaimers. To protect myself legally because you know how these idiots are you know uh on 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 uh, twitter and and social media and, and stuff like that so but, but i am gonna stop this because there's no other profession that doesn't pay you yeah i agree there mm -hmm. agree. so the exploitation in web 3 is more than exploitation in web 2. This whole thing about that oh is. we are all online we are in metaverse that is BS. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, that's us. Okay.
Oh. I need to make lunch. I, 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 I did have one more, Doc. Oh, okay, Just, go on, go on. We have time. We have time. We have time. With the airdrops, Doc, which, which one should I be looking at or focusing on? I think Venom is a good one. Uh, ask uh, George. He's, he's pretty heavy into it. Uh, <laughs> remember, 20% of every new thing I bring is mine. You bastards never pay. Uh, <laughs> we'll, do when, we'll do when I have some, Doc. <laughs> check uh, Venom. Check uh, Zika Sync. Th those two, I would say, focus on those two. Zika Sync is still one year out. Okay? So keep doing stuff and you'll oh, get a good one. Um, I, I think uh, Zika Sync will be good. Okay, cool. I'll focus on those two, do some more research. Yeah. Um, don't suppose you ever heard anything about Boca Chica, did you, Doc? The uh, Near Protocol. Near Protocol, yeah, I know Near. Near is doing what ETH wants to do in two years. So Near is doing the sharding, which will, which is, is that, So they are, they are actually on, on target because I looked up there with um, Boca Chica a, a while back. Um, I haven't actually even looked into it anymore, but. I, I honestly uh, have to say I need to focus. So I have chosen very small ecosystems. So ZK Sync, Cosmos, uh, Ethereum, those are my, I would say, good knowledge Big ones. ecosystems. Yeah. Um, cool. I do bring occasional alpha here and there, but to, to, it has to be slow and steady, okay? No one yep, gets rich uh, quick. But that, those are exceptions. <laughs> Majority of people yeah, yeah. lose money. So you should yeah. be, even though I don't like tokenomics, <laughs> I know Adam's going to yeah. survive. So so that's the reason why I yeah. only, even though I hate the tokenomics, but I'm still uh, buying Adam in my private wallets as well. Okay. Big believer. Yeah, you just just forget this uh, quick get rich quick scheme and, and just work hard, get educated. Yeah. And yep. slow and steady. Um, I hope Binance solves the issues. Uh, in in the UK because they have really good uh, DCA uh, model where you can actually get hundred dollars every every month. Those guys gonna make. Whoa. Those guys will win. Jesus. Okay. That's all right, nice, folks. Nice money. All right, folks. I need to go. I need to make lunch. Okay. Yes. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate that. Have a good ready. Well, enjoy the rest of the weekend, mate. Okay. All the best, folks. Bye. Right, Take care. Bye -bye.